Hey guys, Mega Man NG here. We are back with another Gen 6 Wi-Fi battle. Today's battle is against Alfred, and judging by his team, this will prove to be the most interesting battle to say the least. Why do I say that? I'm not sure, but whatever the case, this is going to be fun. So let's get started. I'd start off with my usual Ferrothorn. He starts off with Swag the Klefki. Oh, I know Klefki all too well. The trollish Pokemon with Prankster. Sadly, he makes a switch, which switches into Emboar. Emboar is known as a powerhouse, especially in the attack department, but his speed suffers a lack. I set up the rocks, and I've decided, you're not going to last here, so I'm going to have to make a switch. And I send in my Arcanine, a trusted Pokemon who has never let me down. Ever. He actually goes for a Heat Crash, and the Heat Crash doesn't work thanks to Arcanine's Flash Fire. I decide instead to give the flyer right back with Flare Blitz, and thanks to the plus one fire, it takes out Emboar in one hit. It's a reason I it's a reason why I love Arcanine. He has never let me down. Ever. Unfortunately, that comes with a price because I suffer a massive amount of recoil. And he sends in Klefki yet again. I wonder if this one's a prankster, and it is a prankster, and it goes for a Thunder Wave. Sure, but Thunder Wave does slow down my Arcanine, though I don't know if it's going to be enough to help him. Unfortunately, luck is favoring him as I get the Parahax. Not a good sign, folks. Not a very good sign indeed. Anyway, he decides to go now for a foul play, and that foul play does a major load of damage. However, I was able to like, get lucky and pull off a Flare Blitz of my own. The Flare Blitz does kill Klefki. That much is certain. But here's the bad thing about this. The bad news is, is that Arcanine suffers a major recoil. That literally sucks. And yeah, I'm like shocked by this. Either way, I have a lead, I send in my Electivire, he sends in Max's V2, the Reuniclus. I go instead now for a Thunder Punch. But I'm beginning to wonder if this thing is going to like survive it. And that's when my troubles begin. He goes for a Trick Room, which basically twists the dimensions and sets everything in reverse, meaning that he goes first and I go second. He goes for a Psychic, and that does a crap load. However, thanks to the Focus Sash, I survive. Though if I didn't have the Focus Sash, my Alentivar would have went down. I go for one more Thunder Punch, and that takes it down. Should have invested more in defenses instead of that. Anyway, he sends in Megatron, the Metagross. And due to Stealth Rock, he does suffer a bit of damage. He goes for a Bullet Punch, and the Bullet Punch takes down Electivire. Nice work, Electivire. You were always helpful back in Gen 4, and you're still helpful now. So now I decide instead to send in my Ferrothorn, and my Ferrothorn, believe it or not, is actually a lot slower. So I went for the Leaf Seed and it misses. He instead goes for a Hammer Arm, and the Hammer Arm does a lot of damage, like more than half. And he gets a crit, and he actually gets lucky. Sadly, he suffers a speed drop, though I'm beginning to understand that with Trick Room in play and him using Hammer Arm, it actually makes him faster. However, sadly, I go for a Gyro Ball, and the Gyro Ball doesn't do much damage. It did little. Though, he goes for one more Hammer Arm, and the Hammer Arm takes out my Ferrothorn. That literally sucks, and he gets another crit. Two crits in a row, he's lucky. But luck is never a factor in battle. However, sadly, he still suffers from recoil damage thanks to Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet. That'll help me set things up so I can, like, deliver the Smackdown. Which I do. Courtesy of my trusted Greninja, he goes for a bullet punch, and the bullet punch wasn't that effective. Now I'm gonna be striking hard and striking fast with Surf for the rest of the way. Greninja kicks in with changing in water type courtesy of Protean, and takes down Megatron with ease. That Megatron really was a tough foe to deal with. Now next on his list, he sends in Dragonite, aka Nimbus. Pretty nod to Dragon Ball, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it is a nod, believe it or not. He sends in an Ice Beam, and the Ice Beam does a boatload of damage, taking down Dragonite. Yeah, and thanks to Stealth Rock, it made things really easy. And his last Pokemon is Bruce, the Gliscor, which, believe it or not, is going to suffer the same way to an Ice Beam. Thank you very much for the battle, Alfred. I really do appreciate it. Your team is actually very good, but if Trick Room lasted a bit longer and the circumstances were different, it would have been a very good fight. If the guy has a YouTube channel, be sure to let me know in the description, and I'll make sure to update it as soon as possible. 
If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It does mean a lot to me. We're back with more Wi-Fi battles, and there's going to be plenty more Wi-Fi battles in the near future. That's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.